I worked in IT for seven years before I landed my first cybersecurity job and I had a degree and many certifications. But can you become a cybersecurity professional way faster? Absolutely. In this video, I will share with you the cheapest and fastest way to build technical skills if you're starting out in cybersecurity so you can gain the confidence and knowledge to land your dream job and progress in your career. What inspired this video is an annual performance conversation I had with a cyber analyst at work. Her name is Amy and she joined our team last year fresh out of uni so she didn't have any technical skills. She wants to progress to the next level and become a senior cyber analyst but what's holding her is the lack of technical skills. In the last 12 months she worked on some cyber risks projects, she also was involved in some vulnerability management work but she found when it comes to investigating cyber incidents she needs to analyze maybe network traffic or OS logs or even if she is involved in a project where she had to look at an architectural diagram to do a security assessment she found that she couldn't keep up but also she found it extremely intimidating especially as she's still new to the field which is stopping her from working on bigger projects that will ultimately lead to promotions and higher titles and better salaries so I designed a plan for her to fill in the technical gaps that she needs now unfortunately there is so much conflicting information on the internet and from people that I talk to some people are under the impression that you need to be an expert in networking and operating systems and that you need to be some kind of a hacker man before you even work in cybersecurity. And on the other end of the spectrum we have people who think that you can get a six-figure cybersecurity salary in seven days if you learn how to push a button in a vulnerability management scanner. So she felt overwhelmed when she was looking for the best way to get those technical skills and I also felt the same way when I was starting out. I didn't know where to start but the real problem is following those type of plans can be a gigantic waste of time, waste of money and it can significantly slow your progress. So to avoid all of the nonsense, here is my plan. Number one, if you're completely new to IT, you don't know how to troubleshoot laptops, you don't know how to troubleshoot computers, usually the go-to recommendation is Comte A+. I don't really recommend Comte A+. I think it's way overpriced for the value that you're getting out of it. And I also don't think you need to spend that much time and money on that basic material. Instead, I recommend the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. It really introduces you to the basics of IT and the basics of IT support. And you can even land the help desk scroll if that's what you want after you get it. The training is hosted on Corsair a paid platform but you get seven days free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. The second skill that you need is networking. Again conventional wisdom will tell you to do something like a CCNA or perhaps network plus. My opinion is if your goal is to work in cybersecurity or even cloud computing you don't really need to pass exams for those certificates. Instead what I want you to do is go to YouTube and in the search box just type Professor Messer Network Plus and there you have it. Completely free training for CompTIA Network Plus where you can watch the video you learn the material you don't really need to pass that exam and if you're so worried about job search and keywords and job searches well you can put these skills in your CV so for example you can put in your CV that you have knowledge in TCP IP and basic networking protocols you don't actually need to pass those exams and if you're really really keen on passing the exams and taking them by all means please do so just know it's not really needed and it's not something that I would personally do and I told Amy that she doesn't really need to pass those exams next up is learning Linux which is an operating system that you will probably need to use as a cybersecurity analyst. You don't need to become a Linux system administrator, you don't need to become a Linux expert, but you need to know how to navigate your way through Linux. You may need to run some tools on Linux, you may need to look through some logs on Linux. Luckily we have the Cyber Mentor Academy. They have an extremely cheap and high quality training that will introduce you to Linux and give you exactly what you need as a cybersecurity professional. I'll put a link for them in the description box below. Now just a note, if you actually want to be an ethical hacker or a pen tester, which is a different career path than a cybersecurity analyst, then you will need to know a little bit more Linux. I talked about how to become an ethical hacker in this video. Last but not least is a programming language. Now this is optional for Amy. She will only need it if she wants to work in a security operation center and automate some tasks. Or if she chooses to pursue ethical hacking, then she will need to know some programming. Again, using the Cyber Mentor Academy, they have a really high quality and affordable training for Python, which I will link in the description box below. Now the real problem is I think these courses are not enough. Yes, they will give Amy those skills, but unfortunately I think even after Amy does these courses, she may still feel 
and adequate because once she do these courses she will realize that there is still a lot more that she doesn't know which creates the good old imposter syndrome she told me she had to deal with people who talk down at her and weren't nice with her and she thinks it's because she doesn't have the skills but what I really think is it's a problem in the IT world and more specifically in cybersecurity. There is a lot of egos and there is a lot of unsavory characters who are insecure and they want to feel good about themselves by putting others down and that can be very very challenging for someone who's starting out and still thinks they don't have enough skills and that's when I tried to shift her thinking and explain to her that learning is a lifelong journey. I showed her that even I after 20 years in the field still have a plan still have things that I work on and things that I study on and I think she should do the same it's not about knowing everything but it's about having a plan and being better today than you were yesterday and this will never end and unfortunately there is no solution to those unsavory characters and insecure people in the IT world the only solution is for us to be the best versions of ourselves and this mindset is the secret that will lead to more senior roles it will lead to higher salaries and it will lead to extra Excellence. And this is precisely what I talked about in this video, where I talk about the best way to gain the highest salary possible in cybersecurity. And I'll see you there.